Hey, fellow Whovians. Whovian Queen here. Hope you have a good week so far. Well, before we start with today's review, I just want you guys to know that I won't be doing any reviews. Uh, I won't be doing a review next week because, well, it's Christmas, so there you go. So anyway, so today's adventure that we're going to look at is Daleks in Manhattan. So, here we go. Lieutenant Dr. Martha arrived in New York City in November 1930 during the Great Depression, landing the TARDIS at Liberty Island. They find a newspaper article about recent disappearances and travel to Hooverville, a tent city in Central Park. There they meet Solomon, the leader, who explains more about the disappearances. A wealthy businessman named Mr. Diagoras appears in Hooverville to recruit, to recruit workers for sewer construction. The doctor, Martha, Solomon, and a young man named Frank, sign, named Frank sign up. They are taken to the sewer and instructed to clear a collapsed tunnel. As they explore the tunnels, the doctor finds a mass of alien organic matter that he takes with him to analyze later. The group soon runs into a group of pig slaves and are forced to, forced to flee, but Frank is captured by the creatures. The Doctor, Martha, and Solomon use a nearby ladder to escape and find themselves in a theater where they meet Tallulah, a showgirl whose boyfriend Laszlo is one of the people who have disappeared. The Doctor uses equipment in the theater to create a matter analyzer while Martha helps to consult Tallulah. When Tallulah goes on stage for her show, Martha spots a pig slave across the stage. Martha gives chase into the sewers where she is captured by more pig slaves. The Doctor and Tallulah follow and find the pig slave Martha was chasing, but they determined to be Laszlo. They also encounter a Dalek, confirming the doctor's analysis that shows the organic matter being from the planet Skaro. The three follow the Dalek and learn from Laszlo that the Daleks are causing the disappearances, running up humans to either make it the pig slaves or use for an unspecified experiment. Okay, then... Tallulah returns to the theater while the Doctor and Lasso sneak into the incomplete Empire State Building and locate Martha and Frank. The group encounters the Cult of Scaro, and the Doctor stays in the background while Martha asks the Daleks what they are planning to do. The Daleks reveal that they are attempting to merge the Dalek and human races. Dalek Sek conducts the first experiment on himself, fusing himself in into the body of Mr. Diagoras and becoming the first Dalek-human hybrid. Okay then. So anyway, let's look, at a little, let's look at a little bit of continuity here. Tallulah asks Martha if she's ever been on stage, to which Martha replies, some Shakespeare, referring to the events of the Shakespeare Code. When he first realizes that the Daleks are present, the doctor says, they always survive, why lose everything? The Daleks, the Daleks have survived multiple apparent extinctions in the Daleks, the evil of the Daleks, remembrance of the Daleks, the Time War, Dalek, the parting of the ways, and Doomsday. Dalek Khan states that his planet was destroyed in a great war. In remembrance of the Daleks, Skara was apparently destroyed by the Seventh Doctor. The 1996 TV, television movie shows Skara intact. Hmm. Now on to cultural references. In Central Park, New York City, a Hooverville existed between 1931 and 1933 in the former lower reservoir of the city water supply system, which was being emptied and landscaped into the Great Lawn and Turtle Pond. Tallulah is based on Jodie Foster's character, also named Tallulah, in Bugsy Malone. The Island of Dr. Moreau, Frankenstein, and Phantom of the Opera were amongst the horror novels and films that served as inspiration for this story. On arrival, the doctor extemporizes the name New York, New York. Well, there's a genuine article. So good they named it twice. Mind you, it was New Amsterdam originally. Harder to say twice, no one did to catch on. New Amsterdam, New Amsterdam. This is a humorous reference to the city's location within New York State, as popularized in the song New York, New York, so good they named it twice. New Amsterdam was the original name of the settlement on Manhattan Island and was part of the Dutch colony of New Netherland. The colony and settlement were both renamed New York after they were ceded to England. Popular songs of the period appearing in the soundtrack include Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue and Irving Berlin's Puttin' on the Ritz. 
When the doctor and Martha are first in Hooverville, two men are arguing about bread. Solomon chastises them and divides the loaf, giving half to each, a reference to the judgment of Solomon. Nice. Now onto the production. Stephen Moffat was initially assigned to the two-parter but pulled out from the episodes, offering to write the series Dr. Light episode instead to make up for the inconvenience to the production team. Instead it was, gi instead it was given to Helen Rayner, who was the first woman to write a televised Dalek story and the first woman to write a story for the Vive series. About time. Some filming for the story was done in New York City for Plates of the City, including images of Central Park, the Empire State Building, and the Statue of Liberty. However, on the online episode commentary for Gridlock, David Tennant, when asked to be filmed in New York, replied, I didn't. Everybody else did. All the scenes with Martha and the Doctor in front of the Statue of Liberty were actually filmed in Wales. The production team found a wall that matched the base of the statue. The mill also used the shoot for elements of the Majestic Theater. This episode includes the first location outside of the United Kingdom since Doctor Who's return in 2005. Several original Doctor Who stories included filming a location outside of the UK. City of Death was filmed in Paris. Ark of Infinity included filming in Amsterdam. Planet of Fire included filming in Lanzarote and the two doctors included filming in and near Seville. Also, the entirety of the 1996 Doctor Who TV movie was filmed in Vancouver, apart from some stock footage of San Francisco and world capitals. Oh, I should correct myself by saying Studio Death included filming in Paris. Scenes at the Hooverville Shantytown were filmed at, Bu were filmed at Butte Park, Cardiff from the 9th to 11th and the 13th to 14th of November 2006. The dance scene was rehearsed in London, but shot in the Park and Deer Hall in Trickerchy, South Wales, on November 15th. Sorry if I butchered the pronunciation. A shot supposedly in the Hooverville shows the, shows the Empire State Building, incomplete, looming over trees in the background. In fact, the building is about two kilometers from Central Park, much further than might be inferred from the shot. Similarly, the view of the tip the view of the southern tip of Manhattan from Liberty Island is exaggerated to make that building seem part of southern Manhattan and close to Liberty Island. The true distance is about 8 kilometers from the island to the building. The closest point on Manhattan is 2.6 kilometers from the island. The presence of the Daleks in this story was reported by the News of the World on November 12, 2006 and confirmed by the BBC in late December. The Dalek Seg hybrid was featured on the cover of Radio Times for the week Daleks in Manhattan aired, leading some to call it a spoiler. An interview with David Tennant in TV Times indicated there would be the real the Art Deco Daleks. However, they did not appear in either this episode or the second part, Evolution of the Daleks. And now finally on to cast notes. Joe Mantana, who appears as work number one, had previously played the commander in the ninth episode in the ninth doctor episode Dalek. Hero Pig was played by Paul Casey, played by Paul Casey as mentioned in the credits. This is not a reference to a specific character, but to the pig who was given the most to do. Hero being the term for a proper costume with the most detail and therefore most suitable for close ups. Randa Rayson has appeared in several Doctor Who audio plays with Big Finish Productions most often a recurring role as a Sixth Doctor's companion, Constance Clark. Andrew Garfield appears as Frank, one of the workers from Hooverville, who will later be cast a, as Eduardo in The Social Network and as, as Spider-Man slash Peter Parker in The Amazing Spider-Man and The Amazing Spider-Man 2. So overall, this episode is okay at best, although there are some things I'm quite confused about, like why are the Daleks turning humans into pig slaves? That just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, why? But hopefully we'll get answers to that in the next episode. So, yeah. So overall, I give Daleks in Manhattan three sonic screwdrivers out of five. Well, tune in on, well, New Year's Day as we take a look at Evolution of the Daleks. So, hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, be sure to subscribe, give it a like, and also hit the bell icon to be notified about when I upload videos. 
Also, if you get a chance, be sure to check out my Patreon page. Link is in the description. So, until then, this is Hoobie and Queen saying, Oh my giddy aunt! When I say run, run! I prefer the polarity of the neutron flow. Would you like a chili, baby? Fantastic! Allons-y! Geronimo! Botez are cool, fezes are cool, and Stetsons are cool.